Uh, we're getting ready to be joined by Jamie and Christian and a few student athletes from Mount St. Mary's with the win. Mount St. Mary's advances to play Villanova in the East Region. They'll play the Wildcats in Buffalo in the first round. Uh, also, format heroes basically flip flop from what you guys will see at first and second round sites. We do winter first um, here in Dayton. And the cooling off period for post game is basically 10 minutes for the winning team, 15 minutes for the losing team. Once that cooling period is over, their locker rooms are open for media access. Uh, we just ask that you silence your cell phones. There's no flash photography or video recording allowed, but the video distribution sites are across the hall. Uh, when you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll bring the mic around. And for our transcription purposes, just wait for the mic before you start asking your question. And we ask that you identify yourself by name and affiliation. And when directing questions to the student athletes, we ask that you direct your question to a specific student athlete. Being joined by the head coach of Mount St. Mary's, Jamie and Christian, as well as Junior Robinson, Miles Wilson, and Elijah Long. Jamie, and if you like, we'll start with an opening statement, and then we'll open the floor for questions for our student athletes. Oh, what an amazing game. Just a lot of fun out there. You got two teams that won their league, that won their league tournament, that just love competing. When you get games like that in the month of March, you know, it just always has a great outcome. You know, we're really excited for that opportunity to start this, this month of March off, which is the best month in college basketball. And uh, I just thought it was a great performance by, by University of New Orleans. They've had a tremendous season, tremendous turnaround. Uh, they play a really dominating style. Today we were able to find a way to just be a little bit better. In the month of March, that's all that matters. Questions for our student athletes only here front right. Uh, uh, Greg Swatek from the Frederick News Post. Elijah, Chris Ray is the team's defensive stopper. So that last sequence seemed tailor-made for him, didn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you've been following us the whole the whole season. You, he makes big plays, like, offensively and defensively. And then, I don't know what told me, but as soon as they threw it to his man, I was like, he's going to do something to stop the ball. And I, I just have faith in him. And you know Chris Ray, he's always clutching the, and when it comes to, you know, close games. You're on the right. Austin Ward, ESPN. Junior, uh, you played all 40 minutes. Seemed like you had as much energy at the end as you did at the start. I mean, what does it take to, to wear you out? You're doing just about everything tonight. <laughs> um. I don't know really, but I was just trying to be positive for our team and bring the energy that we needed. Uh, Eli went down with two fouls in the first half, so I just tried to step up in any major way that I could. Yeah, back left, Tim. really wave them off. Uh, coach, <laughs> coach told me to keep it. So, I mean, but either one of us can score at any time, just like Miles can. So, we needed a bucket. Coach told me to keep it, and I went and got one. <laughs> Here in front left. Connor O'Neill with the Burlington Times News. Junior, did you lose that ball on the way up or on the way through, and how would you get it back? <laughs> well, when I crossed, crossed over, hit his foot. I just looked down, and it was still there, so I grabbed it and shot it. So. That's all we needed. <laughs> back right. Right here in the black and white. Junior, I know a lot has been made about your height throughout the year or throughout your career, uh, and pardon the pun, but is it a, how exciting is it for you to get a chance to you know, measure up against Villanova backcourt that I'm sure you've seen and watched on TV throughout the last couple of years? Well, I mean, I feel like me and Eli are the best backcourt, so it's going to be a fun game. In front again. Uh, Miles, you seemed utterly unfazed out there. You're a freshman. I mean, were you unfazed out there? We've been uh, working for this uh, the whole season, and uh, the team believes in me, and we just stayed together. So I was just just playing my game. Back right. Charlie Goldsmith, SB Nation. Uh, so, Elijah, how confident are you guys and how confident are your teammates uh, heading on in the tournament, building off a win like this? <clears throat> I mean, that was a great team that we just played. Obviously, they, they won the championship for the conference, and um, they deserve to be here. So, I mean, that gives us a lot of confidence, and our non-conference schedule in the beginning gave us a lot of confidence for our conference. And I think we have um, pieces and, and uh, different assets to our game that we can feed off of. And it doesn't matter who's playing good or who's playing bad. People step up. People play their roles, so I think we're, we're good with what we have, and we're very confident in not only ourselves, but even the coaching staff. 
right here on the left on the aisle. Uh, this is for all the players. Mike Lopresti, NCAA.com. Um, did any of you watch Villanova last year win the national championship on TV? And at that moment, would you have ever believed that one year later you'd be playing them in the NCAA tournament? Elijah, can you answer that first? Um, yeah, I mean, I know, I think, I know a couple of players on that team. So, yeah, I was definitely tuned in. That was a wild shot. And, no, I, I wouldn't have guessed once out of 100 times that we are going to play Villanova. But, you know, dreams come true. And, you know, it is March Madness. So this is part of the madness. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. Junior? Um, yeah, like he said, that was, that was a wild shot. And these are dream we're living a dream right now. And in order to keep that dream going, we got to go out and compete against the best team that's overall number one. Miles? Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen him play in the past, and I did watch that game. So we have a lot of respect for him. We just got to go out there and play really hard. Time for two more here in the back on the left. Tom Goldman, NPR. Um, I assume this is for the players. Um, I'm assuming you guys believe that you will be the first 16 to beat a one in the history of the men's tournament. Could you tell me why? Miles, can you take that first? Uh, records are meant to be broken, so we're going to go out there and really play really hard, and hopefully the, the ball bounces our way. Elijah? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we all play basketball. You know, it's just the same size ball, same size net. It's just who wants it bad. And Villanova is a great team, and one thing they bring to the table is uh, – uh, their heart. So we just got to match that, and I think we'll be in a good position to beat them or play good to down to the wire. And, you know, we'll see if we could break a bracket. Junior? It's hard going third. But, um, I mean, <laughs> like Miles said, like, records are meant to be broken, and that's a tough team that we're going to play. They played a lot of heart, but we played a lot of heart too and passion. So if the ball bounces our way, history will be broken. Any further questions? All right. Junior Miles and Elijah, thank you. Good thank luck in the next round. Thank you. Hey. Questions for Coach Christian here in the front on the right. Coach, did you feel that last sequence was tailor-made for Chris Ray? You know, we actually, uh, you know, Julian Boldner and our, and our Graham Bowsley, Will Holland, our staff did an unbelievable job. We knew as soon as the situation presented itself what they were going to do, and – Honestly, we didn't defend it the way we thought we'd defend it, the way we talked about it in the timeout. But Chris Ray is a guy who, again, I've talked about his competitive intelligence. It's as high as any player I've ever been around. You know, he's the guy that in practice, when you draw a play up, a special play, you've got to account for him because he's going to find a way to blow it up every single time. And so although we didn't defend that play the way we, we drew it up in the timeout, Chris Ray's ability to understand what he needed to do in the, in the heat of the moment was so special that he was able to make a great play on that basketball. You're back right on the aisle. Hi, uh, Coach Andy Evans, Mid-Major Madness. Um, back on December 19th, uh, you guys were 1-11. and um, Obviously, you had played a tough schedule, but at that point, did you think you'd be sitting here now having won an NCAA tournament game? And also, what do you feel the turning point was in your season? Yeah, absolutely I did. Um, I, I believed in these guys you know, from day one. We wouldn't have put that schedule together unless I believed in their ability to recover. You know, one of the things that really successful people do when they encounter a problem, they look at both sides of the equation of what things can happen, all the good things and all the bad things that can happen. So when we presented the schedule to our team, that's what we did. We said, what can happen if we, if we play the schedule? And obviously they said, well, we could lose them all. They said we could win half of them. They said we could win all of them. But we just wanted to prepare them to understand that there's, both, there's two sides of the coin and we need to be prepared for both sides of it. They did an unbelievable job understanding that they need to be resilient. And one of the things they said in that, in that, in that conversation was we've got to really stick together. We've got to stay connected. And they've been able to do that over and over again. So I haven't wavered from my belief in them. You know, we put, I wouldn't have put that schedule together unless I believed in our team that we were going to go out and play good basketball. And despite what the record showed, we really played good basketball. We played against great competition with different styles, put ourselves in a tremendous spot um, to have to grow. And we grew, and we grew together. And the turning point in the season, um, honestly, I just thought we just needed to continue to get older. I thought going and playing against a very good Nathan Davis Bucknell team was really important for us. 
they had improved so much from a year ago, and they played such a physical style, and we had beaten them the year before. So it was a turning point for our team to understand what we needed to do to be at our best, because there is a little bit of a hangover when you play some of the best teams in the country, when you start playing teams that are like yourself, where your team thinks, well, we should be okay. And so the turning point really was Bucknell, because it really forced us to really have to understand what we needed to do to beat good teams. And since that day, we've obviously been playing pretty good basketball. You're in the right. Austin Ward, ESPN. You know, I asked uh, Junior about his height a little bit, and I'm sure you've heard about it a lot of times, but most of the country's not going to be familiar with your roster. What is it about him that makes him so successful at being five foot five, or I don't know if that's an official height or not. Yeah, I, I didn't even know his size. I didn't know he was five five. You know, I think the way he plays out there it, with his speed and his quickness and his athleticism, you know, and his heart is just so special. You know, when you're when you're a smaller guy, you're naturally going to have a chip on your shoulder and just want to go out there and compete and show the world the things you can do. But when you're when you're a smaller guy who shoots forty percent from three, can dunk, can can windmill dunk, and do all these other things, the chip comes with some talent. And so that's a guy you got to have on your roster because when you have a person with tremendous talent and a tremendous chip, there's no telling how good you can be. And as he's continued to get bigger and stronger and lock in on winning details and bringing guys along like Elijah and Miles Wilson, our team's only consistently got better. You know, he's a major part of why we, are, why we sit where we are today, his improvement, his development over the last few years. Time for two more here on the right. Uh, do you think your uh, players showed you anything new? tonight that uh, you hadn't seen before over the course of the season in this uh, special environment? Great question. Um, you know, I mean, I wish, I wish they had. If we would have switched that down screen on the last play, they would have showed me something new. Um, but, you know, what they always show me, I mean, what you guys saw there tonight was just how we've played since December. You know, we've just always had great poise, great confidence. You know, Elijah gets in foul trouble, someone steps up. You know, people that follow Mount Basketball have seen that kind of team and that kind of play game in and game out. And we've just done an outstanding job of being able to close games out with no matter what. You know, when you have a group of guys who stay connected through through tough times, there's no telling where you can where you can be. And you know, we're getting a chance to go to Buffalo and play the number one overall seed. Last one here in the right. Do you feel the pace and the style of that game was more tailored to New Orleans than than you guys? Yeah. Well, Greg, you've you've seen us play a ton. You know, what we've tried to do is try to build a roster that could play a lot of different styles. You know, when you get in the month, or when you get in tournament play, it's really hard night in and night out to just go up and down and press and trap, and it just gets hard to do that. And so we've tried to build a roster where that's built, where if we, you know, we got a couple turnovers in the press tonight, but trying to build a roster where if we play a team like this that's really physical, we can maintain our composure and make plays. I can't say we were built like that two or three years ago. You know, we're really built better now because we can play different styles of basketball. No matter what you're trying to do, we, we, we can fit in pretty good and find a way. We've got great outside shooting, tremendous heart, speed, and quickness, and we've got guys that believe in one another, and that's a really tough challenge for opposing teams. Jamie, and thank you. Good luck in the first round against Villanova. Thank you. Yeah, sure, yeah.